again, I'm your host, Hunter Constantine, and today we have another unboxing video for you with a new product that was released at SHOT Show in 2023, that being the Hollow Sun 507 Competition, known on the street as the SRO Killer. Boom, here's the big kahuna. Look at the size of that box. That is one of the biggest boxes I've ever seen in my life. Now then this box right here, this is from Calculated Kinetics. This is a mounting plate for the M&P. I like these guys, they're new on the block, but they make some great products. This is what they call the dog tag, and you can see there's this like nub in front of it. I'm hoping that this shelf will prevent carbon from adding onto the lens. So let's start from the back because that's the POV that people are gonna want. Boom, so look, at we have a square versus the circle. Looks like the SRO is slightly taller, but the 507 is slightly wider. I'm sure we can pull up specs on each of them. Let's go side by side. As you can see, the objective lens on this is huge. It's almost as big as an SRO, but more importantly, I think this is going to be more rigid and more solid than the SRO. Now, if I had two of these, I would definitely be doing a stress test on it, but I want to use this in competition, so I'm not going to necessarily break this until Holosun sends me another one. Speaking of broken optics, this SRO is actually broken. This broke a day before I was going to shoot Dragon's Cup earlier this year. There's probably, I don't know, 35 to 40,000 rounds on this SRO. This video is not about the SRO. It is about the 507 comp, and it's only on the MMP. Let's get to it. I like Kinetics because they are based enough to actually include tool bits with for us, which I absolutely appreciate. So I'm not searching around for the wrong ones. All right, plate goes on, optic goes on plate. How you doing? So they're actually, they come with two different types of screws, depending on your optic. Uh, so we're gonna go with these screws right here. I think these are gonna fit better. Um, and we're gonna get out my fix-it sticks because this is probably the most convenient tool set to have. This takes uh, standard drill bits on all three sides, and this is a torque stick. We can torque this into inch pounds, no problem. We're going to 15, we've got a 15 inch mark right there. A little dab will do you, you know? You don't want to do too much. I'm just gonna drop that down there. We're gonna do the next one, just like that. Now we're going to 15 inch pounds, so we're just gonna watch this climb to 15. Let's get this on a lower real quick. Ooh, ooh, this thing is massive. First impressions of this bad boy, it is bright. Window is huge. I can see a lot of the target through, through the objective lens and there's eight different reticles on here for me to choose from. So you can move through these different reticles to see what's going to suit your shooting needs the best, which is why I love Hollis on their pushing innovation. Pretty excited about this though. Uh, I've been waiting for this since January when they released it at SHOT Show and very excited to get some rounds down range. We're gonna be zeroing this dot in, live firing and ripping splits in Jerry's spirit. J Actually, that sounds like Jerry's dead. Jerry's not dead. Let's rock and roll. Here it is. I'm gonna show you just how fast this Holosun 507 Comp Red Dot is. It has a huge window, it has eight different reticles. I got the green because I'm red, green, colorblind, and that green can pick up a lot faster for me than the red dot. So we're gonna load some magazines, we're gonna throw some rounds through it, and I'll tell you guys what I think. 185. 184. 176. Anyways, we're just gonna walk it back and just see if we can do some pistol sniping. Oh, buddy. We should keep going. We're back pretty far. I don't know how far. Probably over 100 yards, 150 yards? I don't know, 200 yards? 1,000 yards. Just kidding, there's a big silhouette target over there that we're going to attempt to shoot with the 507 comp. Oh, 
my God. First shot. Let's go. All right, let's count it out. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two. 182 yards, first round impact with a Smith & Wesson MNP9 2.0 with the Hollow Sun 507 comp. Pretty spectacular. Let's keep shooting. Oh, it fell over. We killed it. We're gonna start with my 10 shot draw drill. We're doing 10 shots, 10 draws uh, at the head A zone. 127. 120. 122. 122. 120. That was nine or 10. I don't know. I wasn't counting. Me either. Let's go check it out though. Not too shabby. Started out on paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I believe there's three holes right there. There's a solid group to start on. Um, looking good for this dot right off the rip. We're gonna go ahead and tape it up. Let's do a uh, let's do a little build drill action. Let's just rip a couple of billy drillies, okay? Build drill, six rounds. We're at like seven-ish yards or so. So 194 with a 109 draw, pretty spread out on grouping. We got a 109 draw, 18 split, 17 split, 17 split, 18 split, 15 split. We got enough for one more. We're gonna do it on the same target. Ah, oh, I got trigger freeze. So that's yeah, besides the point. That was a 163, one second first shot, 15, 17, 15, 16. That would have been a real nice one, but not today because I decided to lock it up. Lock it up, uh, steel. Tactical reload. Tactical reload for the competition optic. Oh. Ah, I had a little trigger freeze. 185, one second, 17, 16, 19, 15, 18. That 19, I just like, eh, little hiccup there, not too bad. They are all, in the alpha, this one's cutting the line. That still counts. We're gonna tape them up. We're just gonna run through a few of the drills that people just love to do. Granted, this group is not my best group, but I'll blame it on my grip because I don't like this lower. Definitely not any of my fundamental skills. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I forgot what this drill is called, but when I took uh, Ben Stoger and Joel Parks, pistol class we did it it's basically you're just going around the world on all the alpha zones uh so body body head head or however you want to do it i like going body body head head typically what you hear is a steady cadence of shots like ba 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 and then slowing down for that ba 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 we're gonna see if we can ramp up so it's the same cadence all the way through ah i think we pulled one charlie that was a 233. Ah, I threw one over the right head. That right head's getting to me. That was a 225. Get some more ammo. Try to treat all guns as if they're loaded. Holy shit, that was a 211. Uh, 211, little bit sloppy. We got, hold on, math. We got three Charlies all in the head box on that one. Wicked fast time though, 91 first shot, 14 split, 19 transition, 15 split, 16 transition, 19 split, 20 transition, 17 split. Uh, pretty dang quick. This wraps up the Hollow Sun 507 comp. 
We got a thousand rounds in on this dot out of just a few days of shooting. It's held zero, it's shot 180 yards. It's doing everything I want it to do and that window size is ideal. It's huge, similar size to the SRO and I like having that taller window just to help track that dot in between shots. The bigger the window, the better I can start tracking that dot up and down while my gun's recoiling. And having the wide glass is nice because you get to pick more up in your window of a target array. It's always important to be shooting target focus, so when you have a larger window, you have more targets to focus on within your plane so your transitions are, uh, you're not transitioning blindly to the next target with a larger window because it helps open it up. Um, granted, that's for like plate racks, uh, targets right next to each other, things like that. Not necessarily like a big swing where I'm shooting here and then here, because obviously the window is not that big. Okay. Also a shout out to Calculated Kinetics for their dog tag mounting plate. Uh, one thing that's great is it's keeping carbon off the lens of the 507 comp. That seems to be a common issue with the SRO and Acros. On the M&P is that this little breech face right here likes to shoot gas out like it's, it's that geyser in Yellowstone. St. Helens geyser, is that what it is? Or no, that's the mountain. Isn't it just like big geyser? Whatever, someone can fact check me on that, but this spews carbon out, gets on the lens of your SRO or Acro. So having this uh, dog tag in front, this nice reinforced plate helps with keeping that carbon off. And we are a thousand rounds in and you can see how, just how clear that, that glass is. Shout out to Hollow Sun. Um, they did send this to me for testing and evaluation. I did not pay for this. Um, same with the dog tag. I'll keep shooting this. Uh, we'll try to break it. Um, they might be sending us another one for us to do our own torture tests. So if you guys want to see me do some stupid shit with a red dot, specifically this Hollow Sun 507 comp, comment it down below. Like, I don't know, the one idea we had was tie it to a weather balloon and drop that thing from like the stratosphere. Maybe we could shoot it. I don't know, it depends on how much they send us and how many we can destroy, but it's an RMR footprint, which is important. So if you have your gun already cut for an RMR, you can slap this on without having the look of the SRO, which is unfavorable for some. So shout out to Hollow Sun. Thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, and this this gun was actually signed by Jerry Michalik. And I'm just shooting it like crazy. It It's worn away from the holster wear, but. This, this was signed by Jerry. Jerry touched this gun. He touched it.